Welcome to OpenMentor.net. In this session, we are going to see quality center of HP. Quality center is used for test management. This has different types of users. One is the site admin. If you go to the quality center homepage, this is what you will see quality center site administrator. The first thing is to go to the site administrator. Once you get in, at the time of installation, it would have asked for a user ID password. We have set that as admin admin. So I log into site administrator. Once you log into the site administrator, this is what you will see. There are a lot of things are here, but we are going to see what we deal with on a day to day life. Quality center is big, uh, of which your portion or as a tester, the amount of information that you deal with may be less. This can be customized. There are a lot of things in quality center. So we are going to see all important sessions in quality center. The first thing is we go to the site users. Since this is an evaluation copy, don't use this evaluation copy for any commercial purposes. For commercial purposes, contact HP. The first thing we use to create the users. So first create users. Let me say Ramu. Then, then I add a few users. Arjun. Okay. Then uh, Abdul. So I add three users. Site users meaning they have access to this particular uh, URL. Okay. All these users are pre-populated uh, pre by Quality Center demo. Okay, so now we added Abdul, Arjun, and Ramu. Similarly, your site administrator will add all the company users into this one. Now, the second thing is we need to create a domain. A domain is nothing but a collection of projects to group basically. Typically, people use for domain in terms of uh, geographic region or accounts. Now I say create domain, let us say healthcare. So what I want to do is all healthcare related projects we want to do under healthcare. Okay. Now I want to create a project. I want to create an empty project because we are not going to create another project based on something else. So I'm going to create an empty project. Okay. Now the project name is uh, let us say cell life something like that okay now I click next it uses internally the SQL server uh, whatever the admin and password at the time of installation of that you need to use here by default it will take it now I go to next it gives me a warning message uh, it doesn't have search that's fine now it says in this project who is going to be the project administrator. Now I say uh, the system admin or the site admin is also an administrator. Okay, sorry. Now site administrator, you need to use this arrow admin and Arjun. Arjun is also one of the project administrators. So once you map that, then I say click next, activate project, create. So in this session, what we have done is we logged in as site administrator. We have created a few site users. We created a domain. We have created a project. That's exactly what we have done. This is the first step. Uh, anytime people want to use Quality Center, this has to be done. The project creation will create a lot of tables in Quality Center machine. It may take a few minutes, okay. Let it complete, then we will see what it has done. Okay. Now the project is created, created successfully. Now if you see here, under the healthcare domain, under the projects, you have got cell life. If you go to the project users, it says admin and Arjun. Now, under this, if you expand this, it will show a lot of tables. All these are tables. Okay, There are predefined values and whatever values we are going to 
store it will all come over here you are not supposed to go to this table and then alter anything manually that's the first warning that you need to have in your mind so always make sure the project tables are intact at any cost nobody goes to the sql server and then alters any of the data otherwise quality center will have inconsistency now this is the first three thing usually as a tester you will not be doing this your administrator system administrator will do all these things so let us recapture the stuff that we have seen now login as site administrator create a domain create users create a project for that project set who is the user that's it the licenses tab the servers tab everything will be based on your licensing right now this is an evaluation copy so you can use up to 5 users and this has got roughly about i think 30 days expiry period if you buy original license it will for depending upon how many number of users you bought it will show that and then what all the servers at which the quality center is connected okay all the site configurations and other stuff everything will come at a later point of time not now okay let me log out at this point this is the first session in quality center thank you